Mark. Oh my God. You know when your dog has the worst poo that you could ever imagine, steaming diarrhea. He's very good. He always does the dog poo. Oh, the smell, the texture. Oh, stop! Oh. We were just talking about um, Dead Water Fell. Why is it called Dead Water Fell? Uh, it's a place. Ah, oh, it's a new drama. Oh my God, it's so good. Are you watching it? Do you love it? Can you work out what is going on? What do you think is going to happen? Obviously, he's a psychopath. Is he? Well, I think they're trying to take us there on purpose. I'm not entirely certain. I think it's. I think it's all a smoke screen. It's all screen. ambiguous at the moment, isn't yeah. it? Because yeah. we keep getting flashes of possibly what the mum could be. I think the wife and the woman he was having sex with might have been in a lesbian relationship. Yeah. And they both did it. Oh. Yeah. That's what I think. It's too obvious that it's David Tennant. It's too obvious because he's naturally a nutcase. I mean, I've seen David Tennant standing in a doorway in central London, and he frightened the shit out of me. <laughs> I mean, he just frightens the shit out of you. Yeah. Anyway, have you, have really you heard good. his podcast if you as well? It's great. It, check it out, and then because then we're reviewing it on the channel as well. Yeah, that might have gone up by the time you see this. Yeah. But tell us what you think. <laughs> this look at that sun just so shining. The sun is shining out of your ass. So shine, shine how blue it is, the sky. Oh, but of course. When I was it always a, makes me worry about global warming. When I was a film student, there was a point where all I wanted to do was stand in fields and film plants. It's why I think I like gardening. I just wanted to run through cornfields, just filming, filming eyes of corn and stuff like that. 136. What? That's 136. So, Mum, we were just saying, maybe we should find you a couch to 5K programme to get you to New York. Yeah. Couch to 5K walking, not running. It's, they, they have set sort of structured programmes so that you, yeah. can get, you can measure yourself, pace yourself. What do you think? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're yeah. really good at that because you can see where you're going. So it's from couch to so you, they assume you've got no exercise to 5K and you have got exercise. So yeah, so yeah. yeah. And they pace you across a week, so it'd be a plan for like three months. Yeah, no, that sounds really good. Yeah. I mean, in a way, that's what I'm trying to do myself by adding one yeah. of the things each week. Yeah, but I know you I mean, quite like a list. Oh, I do. I love so a list. So why don't you have a list, which is the program? They're the ones I that I use for all the marathons I did. Yeah. Yeah. No, that would be great. Okay. We've done a bit of a naughty. Nadia just asked if we wanted a coffee, and what have we already done? We've already had it. We already had a coffee, but shh, we've had another coffee. But Mark outright lied and said he hadn't had a coffee, and could she get us both another What's coffee? Yeah. And I happened to have thrown the evidence away because I was clearing the car. So it looked like she was a, an addict in, yes. in cahoots with another addict. Just tell us quickly what your physio said about your knee. She said, um, I have to tell you that you've got one leg longer than the other. <laughs> we've always thought this. Yeah, and... Um, so you've got a long knee? It, somehow, in the operation, and because it's on the same side as a, uh, uh, a previous operation on my foot on the same side, it's lengthened my leg. So in one of the exercises, she had to stand me on a brick <laughs> to make sure that my foot wasn't dragging along the ground. She How said, has bizarre. anybody ever noticed this? And I said, well, my grandchildren always say that my limbs are a strange length. Well, your arms are extraordinarily long. I've never thought of knees in terms of the length of a knee. But I guess a knee has to have a length when they're putting it in. Well, yeah. There's a width, a length and a depth. Exactly. exactly. And so what you're saying is that that's why you walk around in circles if left naturally in your own gait. Oh, no, I walk around, walk around in circles because of my foot. So is your foot my compensating foot is for your on, knee? On is a... your foot taking you the other way? Yeah. So that make, means you walk in a straight line. <laughs> if only. <laughs> If only it. Because yeah. one of your feet looks like it's a, it's desperately trying to turn a corner. Yeah, it, well, yeah, it is really. Almost like before before I get there. Yeah. Before you started moving, you're already going round the corner. Yeah, that's very true. Do you know what that officially means? What? You're round the bend. <laughs> <laughs> the bomb. Oh look, first coffee of the day, guys. Yay! Oh, thanks. I, mean, I love a coffee. Show everywhere. us your first coffee. Easy. It's because it's, it's such a nice day. Oh, Everywhere's never heaving. In my life. Oh yeah, it's a Saturday. Ever though. seen a supermarket as busy as that? I yeah. have. Last weekend when I went. Yeah, but it's the first nice day for absolutely weeks. It's been raining, raining, raining. The foxes were having sex outside her window again yesterday. And what were you saying, Nadia, in the car? Foxes and. No, me? she said. No, Maggie was saying one of them didn't want sex. 
No, she didn't want to. I said, no, foxes never want sex. Foxes always rape. I never knew this Where detail. Oh, I've always heard that. That's why they scream. No. No, it's not. It is. That's their mating cry. It's a mating cry. Ducks, 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 ducks get raped. What? Ducks? Ducks, ducks. ducks get raped. They get group raped. What? Oh, my God. What are you doing? All bird watchers know. This is outrageous. When you see a, a duck. A bird watching statistic. A duck on, the, on a lake or, or yeah. somewhere. And there's a little female duck, which you can always oh. tell because the plumage is not bright. And then she's followed by about four colourful drakes. All oh. like this. Like all, all like... Oh. You know, That's after figures. her, and then the one that gets her does the business, and then they all fear around in the background. It's just a fact. They don't tell you this in Spring Watch, do no, they? No, they don't. They don't, they they don't, don't let me tell you. They don't tell you all that horror. No. Kiki. Oh. Goji berries here. Goji berries. No, no, no. Goji berries. Poor Kiki, and for me to do cooking, you're not allowed to. Are there new Goji food. berries? Very, very good for you. You need to have some. Are there any goji more? Goji berries. They're like a naturally occurring sweet chewing gum. So one arm longer than the other. You see? You can see it, can't you? Yeah, you're holding your shoulder up, babe. No, I've She's got one arm longer. This is proven, this is what I've been told. I've got one foot half a size bigger than the other, and that's, I've got one leg longer than the other. That's why I dislocated my knee, because I've got a weird gait because of it. Show oh. us that exercise you're doing, Mum. Yeah, well, this is what. This is what the exercise is where you have to lift your leg to the okay, side. So do the one that's normal. That's normal. Hang on. You're supposed so... to lift oh, it yeah. up. Oh, yeah, so in the space. Yeah. Yeah. And keeping your body straight yeah. and it's coming from the thing. Then I start to go on this side. Yeah. I can't do it. It won't oh, go Oh, yeah. There's so no she... room. You're like, it's like a door that won't shut And the physio said, has anybody ever told you you've got one leg longer than the other? Stand on a brick. Which I did. And then I could oh, do what it. What can they do about it? Nothing. She you have said... to get one of those shoes with a big wedge on it. No way! I am doing here a hand granola. I love doing it like this. It takes seconds. You get, you know, with a the granola, there's nearly always something there's too much of it you don't like. So I've got a teeny bit of coconut oil. It's also brilliant for my vegan breakfast. So I'm just letting that just brown a little bit. And then I'm going to add other things. But first, I want to show. Oh! Where's the yoghurt? Just the yoghurt. So for the vegans, coconut yoghurt, whilst my um, nuts and I've put seeds, uh, sesame seeds and flaxseed, coconut yoghurt, this one's got a bit of vanilla in it, yum, give that a shake. To that I'm adding some of this wonder stuff, blueberry powder, so good for you. And look at the gorgeous ooh, colour. Gives the um, yogurt, look, pink yogurt. To that, I add a pinch of flax seeds, really good. They give you all your omega oils, omega 3s, all of that. Then to that, puffed quinoa. This is protein, quinoa is protein, so you're getting protein. The yogurt is protein. And then to that, I'm going to add some coconut. So you could add cinnamon as well if you want cinnamon. And then last but not least, I don't like too many oats. Like that. Because you know so many good, so many granolas are packed full of sugar. And if you get the no sugar ones, they're a bit disgusting. So a little bit of cinnamon. Give it a stir. Now can you hear that? Listen. That's the that's the puffed uh, quinoa popping. Um, a bit of oats. It's my phone, just ignoring oats. What do I do? Give that another little toasting. You're just basically toasting everything in the pan. And then to that, a little drizzle of maple syrup. That's probably only about a teaspoon. So it's really salt, low in salt. There um, go. And I have my vanilla. My granola with blueberry. Yeah. Ideally, you should wait till that's cooled down, the granola, but I can't because I'm starving.
So, team, it's such a jam-packed weekend. We've just done a movie review. We've done a relationship podcast. That's all for the normal channel. We're now about to go back and shoot the foodie stuff for the Sunday show, which, because Nanny Di hasn't got her login details, she can't watch. No. You look red. Have I got high blood pressure? I've got, I'm red too. No, I think it just must be. Am I red when you look at me? You're I am. Red. Red. Yeah. a little bit red, yeah. No, I've got But listen to this. Listen, listen. No, don't, don't. Shush, shush. Subs, tell him. That deserves a mark. Don't I was toying with another coffee, but we've had so many yeah. covert ones. Yeah. We've been, we've been. Oh running. look, Kiki's just said we are in. They've oh. got him. She's taken her friend. This is what I love about my girls. Kiki and her friend Sally have gone to see Little Women. Women, yeah. Oh. Where are you off to now, Mum? Home. Looking right. incredibly red. Hopefully, I'll get there before I actually have a heart attack. <laughs> and I mean. Look, I look so red, but it makes my eyes look bluer, doesn't it? It does, somehow? yeah, look at your Which eyes. Nazi eyes. <laughs> a bit, a bit weird. But, um, it's anyway. amazing that I've got no hint of blue in my eyes. I know, thank God, Mark. Thank <laughs> God. I don't really like blue eyes much. All right, Mum, well, with your longer leg, don't yeah, walk around in circles. Yeah, I hope, Subs, you've heard about that by now. One longer leg. I mean, honestly. And Is there anything re- else they can throw at me? Two long arms, one long leg. I was saying in the car earlier, when I think of my mum, I think of her as like pieces of a person. You're like a walking pu- puzzle. You're a jigsaw puzzle. That's not a very good way to think, yeah. Mark. Yeah, you could reattach all your limbs in different orders. There's a cat walking along the I know, top. very you sweet. Go on, though. Well, we haven't done a good bye shot of Nanny Di, so she's heading off now. I'm heading off now. Because it's going to be boring for her, otherwise she'd just be sat there looking at me and Nadia filming stuff. Okay. So she's going to head off, and we're going to film her, and we're going to put that really sad music over it. Oh, but some people don't like that. They no, say, no. why do you do that? Because we're mean. Okay, right, I'm getting out now. Right. Shall I shall... Oh, okay. Take care, sweetie. My boy. M- your boy. My, my ma. Boy. My ma. My boy. Why do I do that when I try to get out? <laughs> you need a stepladder. Oh. And there she goes. The wandering minstrel. The wandering traveller. The loneliness of the long distance librarian. And there she goes. She's just trying to sort her hood out. She's going to go veering into that. <laughs> <laughs> How she gets around, I don't know. I'm sure she goes around that corner and legs it. Look, here she goes. Here she goes, bidding a fond farewell. Oh, she can't see it. Oh, there she is. Get yeah, bye, Mum. Bye. Bye. And she's gone. <laughs> Oh, she is funny. And she's gonna come. <laughs> Long legged nanny die. Another classic Saturday where I thought it was much, much earlier than it is. And yet we've accomplished an inordinate amount this morning. Um, But anyway, thanks for all your suggestions last night in the live vlog, guys, because I now feel we can keep Christmas trees up all year round because they're going to become a tree for all seasons. Let's go and turn this one on, shall we? Nadia is just prepping the kitchen to do some cooking. Um, And I can see tasty bowls of chocolate. Are they called Ban Marie's? Marie's. Who was Ban Marie? I'm just testing. What are you testing? my patience. <laughs> no, it's been years since I've made chocolate mousse. Oh. I mean, literally, I was probably, the last time I made a chocolate mousse, I was probably about 16. Is this because of all this talk of parfait? Yeah. So I'm just trying to remember how I used to make chocolate mousse. i tell you another word I really like, which sounds like parfait, and it's parlay. And that's Parlay obviously... in Francais means to speak. The exchange of words. And did you know that that is the word that is the, creates the origin for the word parliament because they oh, parlay, oh, oh yeah, they parlay in, in, in that building. Thus, thus it is parlayament. Yeah, parlay-a-ment. I love that. A talkament, an institution of talking and debate. So anyway, I'm going to flip over here. We're going to go to cooking now. So I'm going to get, I've just had possibly one of the nicest, most gloriously unctuous and scummy, scrummy, scummy, scrummy burgers served up to me that's just pulled me back from the abyss why do us men take ourselves to the very edge of existence 
because I knew you had about 20 minutes before you were going to be into the pit of despair and you refused. You said, no, thank you. And you hadn't eaten a single thing. So you're finally eating at quarter to three for the first time. Madness. Absolute madness. Moron springs to mind. Moron. 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 I am a moron. Though I am religiously at the moment drinking two and a half litres of water every day. Is that enough, Nadia Sawada, off the telly? Well, not even, no, really. I think Apparently it's not. Bloke, Liters. But other stuff is included, like other liquids that you drink, tea and all of that. So. Does, that does that include vodka? Mm. Does, that, yes, does that include vodka? You never know. One day, you've got to stay tuned into our channel for the rest of your life. Do you know why? Because even at the age of 67 or 75, I might relapse. And we've got to film it if it happens. And we're just clearing up because we're going to do bean fist. Bean has brought naked glory to the house. <laughs> hope not. Hope not. Hope not. Oh, dear. Me. This new pan, I've been gifted this, and it's amazing. This, this new um, electric griller thing. That makes the food taste gorilla totally thing. barbecued. Grill. Where is it? Is that a name for it? They should call it the Gorilla Griller. They look rank, don't they? Look. Huh? They look rank. Look. What are they? Plant mm. meat free, so. £1.50. £3.50. Pounds, £3.50. Pounds. Listen, I had them in a pub. They were bonkers. You wait till you taste them. Really? You will not know the difference. Mm. Toffee, I'm going to ask you a question, Toffs. What do you think of the idea of a burger made not of meat? What do you think of that, Tovs? I think it's a really stupid idea, but I'm always hungry, so I'd eat it. Really? Yeah, of course. This one time, I ate 65 burgers in one go. I snuck them upstairs and just gobbled them up. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is the section of the show where Dina comes from next door wielding okay. gifts and bargains. Yes. And the bargain of the day is? The bargain of the day is two burgers for £1.50, but we haven't tasted them yet. But they're not any old burgers. They might be awful. Might this be is shocking. all vegan burgers. So this looks... is a taste test. Yeah. yeah. But it looks a bit... Oh, this one's got a bit more body to so it. So these... That's Naked Glory. These are the two we're going to cook on this... So are you? Oh, oh dear. It smells like corned beef. It smells like corned beef. Oh. Why do they make like you know when you get vegan sausages and vegan burgers? Why do they have to emulate meat dishes because at all? Because lots of people go vegan because they love animals and they want to save the planet, but they like meat. It d doesn't mean not everyone that goes vegan doesn't like meat, and so they're looking for a meat replacement. I have to say that I don't want anything that looks like anything else. Because it's processed. I don't no, like processed I just, food. I just, from being vegan, I'm being vegan. I don't want anything pretending to be anything so else. So that's what I mean. You wouldn't want like no. vegan bacon. No. Oh. No, but the only reason I wouldn't want that is I don't like the, it's processed. If it was right. good for me, I would absolutely have it because yeah. I love bacon. So. I suppose my argument is why try and make these look like burgers? Because, well, because that... lots of people don't want to don't have haven't fallen out of love with meat, right. but they've just fallen out of love with the process. I mean, I got Finley cauliflower masala sausages from Aldi, yeah. and he went, "Well, why do they call them sausages? They shouldn't call them sausages. That's what I mean. They should I'm... call them rolls, yeah, or rissoles, yeah, or, or like patties, like or patties. Or something patties like yeah. That. Yeah, 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 I think they are. One of them is called patties. I grew up in an environment where six members of the family would come for lunch, like we are now, but they would have half a pound of meat. Yeah. Exactly. You know, but make it spread around for the taste. Yeah. yeah. You know, not for the consumption. No. For the taste. Nobody agreed with it. All it was great that meat can be grown in a lab. Mm. It's weird. They found the technology to grow food from oxygen, <laughs> haven't they? Yeah. yeah. Is this the cheap one? The cheapest. Two for one pound fifty. Give us your rank face. <laughs> <laughs> Ranky, rank, rank, rank. Rhymes with like rank. Mark! Oh, beef. It smells like spam. Not Have you seen beef. the Mark film? Yeah. It's oh brilliant. My. It's yeah. genius. God, isn't she? Well, I'll tell you what, I had the vegan Magnum the other day. It was really nice. Was it? Oh. Yeah. It was good. A vegan Magnum? Vegan 
almond magnum. It's going you, three minutes each side for, I think, to be on the burger. Could you taste the difference? <laughs> Last one. Plant Chef, two meat-free burgers, packed with pea protein, roasted onions and herbs. This looks like, it. I have to say, I'm not excited. Let's look at it from the side, because a burger is all about the view from the side. Now, of course, you so can add avocado, guacamole, lettuce, mayo, tomato, mayo, burping. but we thought we'd better just try it raw. I mean, just as itself. It's all right. So, we like the plant chef Tesco. How much? One fifty. That's cheap. That's good, isn't it? That's cheap. Cool. Oh, here we go. This is the one Dean is excited yeah, about. Hang on, steady, doesn't These are the. Wait. Oh, it's like it's like a very convincing. Is it? <laughs> Try that one. The door. It's like Anne Hathaway's walked through the door. But, you right. know, I'm, it's nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Nice. This is the one Dina's really excited about because she had it in a pub the other day and she said it was so really gonna, delicious. Now, now we're going to know how drunk you were. And this <laughs> one, <laughs> Dina, was oh, this right, this okay. one? Beyond, These were the, yeah, Beyond Meat. Yeah. Let's go for it. Maybe they're very convincing. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What? What's I going need on? to try it. Oh, my God, you're walking away from the table. I'm, I'm happy to go with that. I told you. Oh, let me try it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was a physical response. That is response. really good. Try that one. This is meat. This mm. is that Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That but if good. you can't afford that, the other ones are good. Mm, the one with fifty. But yeah. they're much more a sausage. Tastes exactly like sausage. Right. Okay. Boom, let's try it. Already as I take it to my mouth, it's got a hot dog flavour. Oh, she mm. does that vital mouth cavity test, doesn't she? <laughs> Can I try it? Is it not nice? You might like it if it tastes like hot pot. Yeah. Go on, Mads. The texture's brilliant. Is that oh, hot? What, what's the smell? What's the smell like? Hot, hot dog. Hot smell. <laughs> hot dog. Uh, oh, no. I'm not trying it. You like that the least? Yeah. It's not my favourite. Oh. Oh. Oh dear. Christ. Mm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, God. It tastes a bit like the way dog food smells. Oh. Oh, no, they put the all of their like effort into the oh, name God. and none yeah. of their effort into the burger, Teddy. Katsu curry burger. That's the next one. Oh, we haven't just. That's it. That looks Horrendous. Wrong. That looks wrong. Oh, let's stick it on the griddle. Oh, oh stick dear. it on the griddle. It's not but, cooked enough. Oh. I know it's not, but it just it looks like it needs it's a, a bit green of green patty. It's yeah. peas and carrots or something. It's and sweet vegetables. potatoes. It doesn't meat. look great. It's a bit squidgy. It smells delicious. It smells good. I can smell it. And it's got the dreaded bean in that I hate. Edamame. It's falafel. Uh, I was going to say it can smell falafel. Oh, yeah, it smells. Nice. Very spicy. That was one fifty for two. Was it? If you like a meaty burger, if you want a complete meat alternative, this is so like meat. It's incredible. If you like spicy, this is good. If you want something that tastes a bit more vegetable-y. Oh, hot dog, that one. Hot dog. We all hated that one. And we all were pleasantly surprised by that one because it looked horrible, but actually it was quite nice. It's like a sausage patty. More like a sausage patty. Just done. Uh, I wasn't anticipating getting Joe Wicks done, actually. Not so much editing tonight, Saturday night. But I've done it. Half an hour. Wait. Cardio. And in the background there, you can finally hear that Harry and Megan have relinquished their HRH. Uh, they have. Yeah, well, they knew that was going to happen. It's been taken, but they knew it was going to be taken. I think it's inherently strange that the brother of the future King of England won't be a Royal Highness. But interestingly, they are keeping it in abeyance, which means they can reverse the decision. What does that mean? Are they suggesting that he might come back? better than the crown. But look at this. It's frosty. It's the frost, frost, frost. It's the first frost of the frost frosts. Well, it's making me worried about the root balls of all of my plants. I know, I'm thinking root balls. Anyway, I'm scooting off now to get the newspapers. Getting the newspapers on a Sunday morning used to be one of the most sort of enjoyable parts of being profoundly hungover. Me and my uh, flatmate, Chris, used to go and have breakfast, eggs and ham, at all bar one, often on Wardour Street in central London or in Wandsworth, 
we'd get the papers, we didn't matter what political persuasion because we were both program makers, you know, we weren't interested in kind of just hearing our own political point of view, we were interested in all political points of view. So it'd be the Times, it'd be the Observer, even the Telegraph or the Tory Graph, as I used to call it because my granddad read it. So anyway, I'm off now to go and get the papers, it's frosty as hell, it's freezing as hell, then we're going to get back, then we're going to shoot, and then we're going to have a day of vlogging, it's never ending! One of the joys of being a dad is getting up with gloves on. Do you remember driving gloves? My granddad used to have leather driving gloves with that strange um, surface or, or, or cloth that was like a waffle. And so he'd go out and he'd have a dedicated frost scraper in his, either in his glove compartment or it could have been in the boot of his car. But it wasn't like, a, it wasn't like the ones that sort of window cleaners use. It was like a proper dedicated for the car uh, de-icer. And I remember him saying to me, you mustn't throw hot water on ice on a windscreen because it could crack. Now, this probably was in the days when windscreens were less resilient. Is that true? I miss those things. Those are the kind of dad things I wish I had a bit more of or have a bit more of because I have to, had to construct my own really chaotic, slightly feminized and feminine and feminist versions of all these things. <laughs> so this is, this is us getting ready for the Sunday show, right? So I've got all my papers. I love this bit. I pretend I'm Johnny Vaughan. Not as funny, obviously. Nadia over there is in a bit of a tailspin. Why? Because I can't find my jeans. What's wrong with you, baby? Bang on at me about that, continuity. That we're halfway through filming with, and I can't find them, so I'm going to have gone from jeans to wearing pajamas. You can't in the middle of a, of a cookery thing. I know, and I've got. To I've go got to maintain the illusion that there's some organisation and oh, some cons Jesus. cohesiveness to this. Anyway, there's some cracking headlines this morning. Cracking headlines. So we're, ju we're just going through the papers and to do the papers, we use uh, post-it notes so that we know where our headlines are, Neds. And Maddie came in the other day after the Sunday show last weekend and she picked this up and she went really seriously. She said, since when have we been a family that uses post-it notes? <laughs> I said, it does look frighteningly organised. She, she said, in a minute, you're going to be using highlighters. <laughs> it's true. It's weird. I don't want to sing my own praises or nothing, but it's been a bit of a full-on morning trying to get the Sunday show together. But um, just whilst I've been uploading the show onto the channel, I've managed to clear away the snow village. Toffee looks disorientated. Like, she's lost, like... She's standing where former Switzerland used to be. Nad! Yeah? Come on down. I haven't put double jumper on, it's so cold. I know. Are you cold? N yeah. freezing. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, my nipples are hard, but they always are. Fuck. What? Why are we always talking about your nipples? Because they're constantly alert. They, they bug me. They, if they could, they'd tweak my chin. Oh, thank God. Have you done that? Just thought I'd do it. Just thought I'd do it in between editing things for you. Thank you. Am, am I on a promise? Not for me, for us. No, for... Well, yeah, no, of course. Thank you. I don't think I like that table there, though. It's so 80s. Mark is hideous. I well, know. Uh, but you've cleaned was, up all the stuff. Yeah, That's yeah, brilliant. Classic woman honing thank in on you. what's not right with something. No, thank you. Do, does hate your hate does your other half do that? You go to the supermarket, get everything, and they have another one thing. You know, all right. Well, I'm, I mean, I was merely trying to get our really crucial online capabilities off the floor. Yay! Oh my God! We thought we'd arranged everything to have to have a relaxing day, but we didn't, did we? No. Um, so now we're just going to go and dump all this stuff at the dump, and then go and pick up Pat. Dear Pat. Dear Pat, you know Pat, oh, a, an elderly friend. I hate the way to say I that, know, but I she hate is. The word elderly. <laughs> something about the word elderly. She is, she like... has got a bit elderly, so we have to pick her up. She's, look, at the moment, she can't get about because she's got all sorts of things going on. What does so, elderly mean? Well, the yeah. elderly, yeah, I yeah. suppose, of the elders. And um, her granddaughter, who usually looks after her, is away for a couple of weeks because her brother is not well. So we are helping out and looking after him um, a bit. Interestingly, Maddie has had an audition today. Yes, yeah, so then we're going to go and pick up Pat, who looked after Maddie her whole childhood when yeah. I was working. I mean, they're really close. And then we're going to take them both out for a pizza. And Maddie's, did 
you have mentioned Of course, we won't have a pizza. We'll just have a yeah. glass of tap water. We'll sip on a glass no, of tap water. I reckon water. you'll have a rosé and you'll have fudge cake. I won't have fudge cake. I either have fudge cake or a rosé. Oh, I don't have both. I've got that sort of slight anxiety, nervous excitement for Maddie in an audition. I know. I really hope she got it. Yeah, yeah. Will she find out today? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Um, she found it very funny because the director said to her, I've got a part in this new play that we're doing and I think you'd be perfect for it. And she was like, oh, why? And she said, um, well, it's a 16-year-old pregnant goth. <laughs> <laughs> so she was like, oh, right. <laughs> she, isn't she from Grimsby as well or something? Yeah, but she, she, she texted the director and said, could I please not do a Grimsby <laughs> accent? And, the t- and she's after all night trying to do it with my oh, friend bless. Lee. You know Lee who oh, helped Lee. us yeah, use... Yeah, yeah by the aftershave, oh, he was helping her try and do uh, an accent and then the director said she can do whatever accent she likes. Anyway, that's what we're doing next. There's Maddie taking her pat, so we can only just see it. Hang on, you see it, it's coming. Oh, Here they come. She's such a caring child. Oh, it makes me cry when she's in the back. So we've just had lunch at, what was it, 400 Rabbits? With yeah. our dear, dear Pat, who is truly, truly one of my favourite people in the world. Yeah. She's, she's just lovely. like, she's just got loads of things that all happened at the same time. Yeah. I and mean, she got like, um, she got a fracture on her knee and then she's got a meniscus tear and arthritis oh. and Parkinson's all at the time. All at the same time. And she's, she's just impacted so badly on her, bless her. She's looked after Maddie since Maddie was two. Yeah. Got Maddie looking after her, getting her She's taking her through the door. So many young people that don't realise that one day they're going to be old. I know. And the thing is, we are all going to be that old. And I know. It's just so important that you. Treat. Just sitting and talking to. Her. We've known Pat for years, and just like, if you don't, because a lot of people don't know what to say to older older people. Mm. Just ask them about their lives, because they've lived a life. Yeah. They've lived a life, and they've got a story to tell. They've just got the longest story, haven't they? Yeah, That's they have. The thing. Well, I always used to say that thing about Nanny Thelma when people, you know, when people live for longer, and then they pass eventually there's even more to miss because you've had them for so long so i do think we tend to think that there's no connection between us or young people tend to think there's no connection between them and their elders there is you just have to ask some questions and the easy thing to forget is that it's going to be you one day don't i feel like it's me already i do love pat i like making her laugh i really like making her laugh yeah anyway we've had a lovely afternoon a complete antidote to the frenetic madness and insanity of getting the yeah, morning show done. Just sitting and just chatting. Just sitting and chilling. Okay, so we got back to the house. And I had to, almost like as urgently as one needs to go to the loo or drink water when one's thirsty, I just had to get the dogs and come out. I don't know why, it's just one of those, one of those nights. I just had to get out, I just had to get out. I wanna feel the cold on my skin. I want to feel the air. And I've just twisted my bloody ankle. Can you believe it coming down those steps? Look, there above me. A huge erection. But I just wanted to come out. I had to come out. It wasn't even like a question. I just literally ran in, asked Nadia, grabbed the leaves, said, I'm taking the dogs, didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. What is that about? Absolute urgent need to get out into the air, nature. Whatever it is. Anyway, the dogs can't believe their luck because the park's closing and I'm wandering around. But look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Chi Chi. What are you doing? Something pops, pops up. up. Look, I've got my socks in my hands. It's, and the reason it's I'm... midnight on Sunday, I think. Is it midnight? Nearly. nearly. And it's just popped up it's about bloody Harry again. Harry's speech, oh, which she's... is incredibly moving, actually. So we're going to do a quick live on it now. And I'm putting, to having to put chat. trousers on because one of you sharpshooters <laughs> noticed that I was wearing shorts the other day in the reflection. So hang on a minute. All right, we're going live. <laughs> 